guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Chan. Said anybody can be good to you, you need a bad girl to blow your mind, your mind. So today I'm gonna be going camping. C A M P F I R E S O N G song. I feel like Jake Paul. I shouldn't be smiling. Today I'm gonna be going camping because my little brother Kyle went camping with friends, and I don't have friends. So I'm just gonna camp in the backyard alone. Just back there somewhere, maybe under that big dead tree. I'll just lift it up, you know, and just put my dead body under it. What if we just saw like a man standing out there? So I'm just gonna be doing my thing alone in the woods. <laughs> Who didn't flush the f toilet? Don't drop the soap. That's what I'm gonna be doing today, or tonight, I guess, because I wanna go out there, set up camp, because I have something to prove, okay? Y'all, rightfully so, think I'm stupid. And look, you're not wrong about it. But I have, I have smarts about me, okay? I have something, like, I can do it. Like, growing up, when I was little, I played outside a lot. Like, I would get home from school, go outside, run around, play outside. So I, I have planned to go out there. I already packed my bag. Ah! Six o'clock right now, and the sun sets at nine o'clock. Seven, eight, nine. So I have three hours to set up camp, get a shelter, fire. Don't gotta worry about food. So I really wanna try to stay out there all night and just, you know, really embrace nature for what it really is. Oh, that reminds me, I have like major diarrhea right now. So it's probably not the best thing to go outdoors, but that's the thing, like, can I survive? Will I use a leaf? Will I use a tree? What will I do? You know, that, that's kind of the point. I do live in the South, so there is a chance of me getting shot. And I don't think a raccoon would want to attack me because I kind of act and look and smell like a raccoon. So they probably just think I'm a bigger raccoon. The odds are probably ever in my favor. Usually when I like have an idea, I'm excited, but when I start filming, I get nervous, and now I'm nervous. Okay, whatever. Oh my god, okay. Now that we're men, we can do anything. Now that we're men, I changed my underwear. First, we gotta jump this fence. I gotta jump this fence because I was too afraid to go around the front because I was embarrassed. Oh my god. I got a fanny pack. Zip that up. Ugh. Ow. Now that we're in. It's my just eye. What is that chair doing? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So I'm thinking I'm just take this tarp and use it as shelter. I don't know where to go. So it's been 10 seconds and I, I'm i already checking. Okay. okay. There seems to be like a line. I think this is what I'll put the tarp and we can build like a tent. This is what I'm gonna use to protect myself. I almost just tripped. First of all, this branch. Get out of here. I'm gonna take this time to clear the area. So this is my space. This is my area. Oh my God. I'm getting eaten. Up, out, oh, I completely forgot mosquitoes existed. That's how long I've been inside for. Oh my god, that's the biggest ant I've ever seen! What the f Oh my god! So I thought to take my mind off things, I should do a what's in my bag tour. Pliers because, you know, Ma had to perform emergency dental surgery. A lighter because light went out for the boys. A magnifying glass to look into the future, matches to start a fire, and a battery. I found this in the garage, and it says it's drinking water, so I really hope it's drinking water. If this turns out to be like kerosene or something, that's the biggest spider, oh my god. Two packs of popcorn to hopefully, maybe we'll get so advanced, maybe we'll be able to fry some popcorn up, because I love popcorn. Oh my god, I have to maybe use these paper bags to start a fire. Two cliff bars, granola bar, fire alarm, and a battery. This is my only defense against a bear. More popcorn. A flashlight, duh. Pocket knife. Scotch tape. Hello, this is my shelter. 7.04. It's been about an hour now and I finally have 
a shelter built. This is the inside. It's two bedroom, four bath, and it comes with a indoor pool. That's the indoor pool. I'm so scared that when I take a swig of that, it's gonna be like kerosene or something. Honestly, I hope it's kerosene. I have killed so many spiders with bigger than me. Oh my God, I'm like a little caveman cheerleader. Sharkeisha! You got it, sis. I believe in you. Oh my god, I would do this all the time in middle school. This is probably why I had no friends. I remember one time I was outside making a fire, and it was New Year's, and my stepmom came up to me and was like, do you want to invite some friends over? And I was like, no, girl. I'm having a blast. This is such great alone time. I'm like, I'm having so much fun. I turn around, the whole forest is on fire. I love this. This is like caveman content. Oh my god, I feel like there's people that make those pools out of dirt. I hope those paper bags are vegan. I just smoked it. God, if I was like a pioneer woman, my whole family would just be starving at this point. My kids would be like, Luke, I'm starving. And I'd be like, you're shit out of luck, Timmy. <gasps> what the? Uh, what the? I look up and there's just a bear looking at me. Oh my God, did you just hear how I said the word bear? Yee yee, fellas. I'm taking the term yee yee to the literal level of yee yee. Why am I doing this? I could have just done like the chubby bunny challenge or like a Q&A. I look like a little farm boy, look at me. This is where me and Kyle threw the jewel. Maybe we can make that a task, find the jewel. <laughs> Almost just clotheslined myself, literally. This tree built like a ball sack, do you see that? I feel like Katniss Everdeen. I have the skill of Katniss Everdeen, the brain, of Captain Jack Sparrow. This is snake skin. This is its snake skin. Okay, it's just plastic. I know that Dolan twins did a series where they camped outside, and when they did it, it was like, oh my god, yeah, daddy, build a fort. But when I did it, it's like, oh my god, is the twink gonna survive? Like, is he okay? The bed is at like a slant. If I end up rolling into the grass, I'm gonna die. And I look over, there's like a gorilla. The only threats I know of are snakes, spiders, Raccoons, but like I said, raccoons, they think I'm one of them, so they don't care. Cows, chickens. You know, I love dogs and cats. Bunnies, like, I love it all. But, like, cows? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Horses? Mm-mm. Their brain is just too big. I feel threatened intellectually and physically. This is actually kind of relaxing. I'm not gonna lie. I wake up, I have lice. What the? Beach! I have the smarts of Katniss Everdeen. The attitude of Captain Jack Sparrow. The ass of Captain America and the looks of Peter Pan. Man, you find out a lot about yourself when you're just out here alone. Guys, if I put my PayPal link down in the description of this video, don't judge me. Which, and also thank you for the support on my last video. Mmm, rice. I wonder what it tastes like. Oh my god, a pile of wood. What did you just do? She definitely timbered. Oh my god, you chopped down that whole thing. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be chopping some wood. Just set my phone up on a tree. Whoa. My hands look like this, so her hands can look like this. I wanna try to bake some popcorn, but before we do that, we gotta test my bear trap. So I got this old fire alarm and I have a battery. Oh my God, we should put the fire alarm in the fire and see if it detects the fire. <laughs> I'm so dumb. No! It's not. Well, don't go in the fire. Don't go in the fire. Well, glad to know it works. That was probably the scariest moment I've probably ever experienced in my whole entire life. I'm, I'm switching from a country accent to an Australian accent. My personalities are. A clashing. What else do we got? I know we got some popcorn. Let's try to bake some popcorn. I don't have like a pot or a pan, so I'm just gonna put the popcorn on top of this thing. Here goes literally nothing. If I if this works, I want to win a Nobel Peace Prize or something. At least give me my 100k subscriber plaque. It's not catching on fire, is it? I'm a black -like duo away. Oh, I hear it. Do you hear it? It's sizzling. Come on, this is ridiculous. How long is it gonna make me wait for this popcorn? It said two minutes and 30 seconds. It's getting hot. Oh, my bag is on fire. I'm getting hungry, I'm getting hungry. Ah! Ah! Oh my God, the bag is on fire. I'm trying to make some popcorn, so I'm just loading the kernels onto the ax. Fire's not gonna pop it. How does a microwave pop it? 
I would be lying if I said I wasn't shook. Oh my god, it popped! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, that was my campfire mukbang. Uh, little in the middle, but you got much back. I'm gonna try to stay out here till like 12 o'clock, maybe 1 a.m. We might make it till like 11 p.m., but let's see how far we can make it, boys. If I wake up and I see a snake, I'm pulling the grenade, y'all. I'm just gonna drop a grenade right at my feet and say sayonara. This wouldn't be so like scary and so sad if I wasn't alone. You can hear the crickets. They're like, go. There's an ant on me. I could have just done a Q and A. I could have just done a get ready with me. I could have just done drive with me. Why did I have to camp outside like this? Whoa, that fire is getting big. Some of y'all have pointed out the fact that I have a hunchback, and yeah, I have a hunchback. Okay, she holds a lot for me. She holds me up. I need to make some friends. Okay, my life's getting pretty lonely. Literally out here alone in the woods. Hello. Hello. Oh, I love this. This looks scary! What the fuck? I remember when I was little, my only worry in the world was the zombie apocalypse. I wish I could go back to that time. Oh my god. The zombie apocalypse. I do not ever want that to happen. And then on like a Monday morning, when I was going back to school, I'd be like, if a zombie just came and bit me and turned me into a zombie, I'd be so happy. I used to think zombies were so scary. And now, I've learned to embrace the inner zombie in me. What does that mean? It means I've learned how to function off minimal sleep. <laughs> oh, she's sweet at a psycho. There's an ant on my chest, and I'm gonna name it Willis. Willis, could you please get off me? Wait, wait! Oh my god! 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 Get it! Oh my god! Willis, I just killed him. Willis, I just killed Willis. This is so sad. Like I'm talking to you as if I had a friend here, which I don't know if it's sad or it's not. I know it's kind of sad, but I'm kind of having fun. I wonder what life's gonna be like without Willis. You know, that's something that you can carry and apply to almost anything, you know? One kernel of popcorn is enough. You don't need a whole bag, you don't need a whole box, you don't need a whole bowl. One kernel is enough. I mean, like, not really, but you know what I mean. Don't take more than you need. That's what I'm learning from this trip. Okay, there's like a rock right on my spine. Maybe it'll fix my hunchback. You know how you're like, I don't want my feet to hang off the bed. Girl, my feet are literally outside! I guess that's just what happens when you grow up. You're like not scared of the dark, you're not scared of ghosts, you're just scared of being kidnapped and killed. Oh my god, I was not scared. I talked a big game being like, I'm not scared. I'm not scared of ghosts. Bitch, I'm scared as that. <laughs> Please, no, please, no. Friday night is to get lit and have fun. Saturday night is sometimes where it just unfortunately gets weird. I've seen less ants. I think they went to bed. Shut the f up. Shut, Shut the f up. I look over, there's a raccoon texting on my phone, telling his homies about how I smell bad. What if I go to bed and, and I wake up like somewhere else? I can never go to bed. I got the axe. Oh, my flashlight, it's dying. No. I turn around, the whole forest is on fire, and I'm like, guys, subscribe.